Welcome to the Daily English News Program in Azerbaijan Television. I'm Bilal Hassan 149 years ago, on 22 July 1875, Hassan Bayzerdabi, one of the outstanding representatives of the educational movement of his time, led the foundation of the National Press of Azerbaijan with the publication of the newspaper Akinci. A total of 56 issues of the newspaper were published and it became the exemplar of Azerbaijani journalism. Subsequently, other newspapers and magazines such as Ziya, Irshad and Mullah Nasrettin, published by eminent members of the intelligentsia, continued on the path of Akinci. From the second half of 1990, the Azerbaijani press entered a new stage of its development. It's noteworthy that the first decree of the Azerbaijani press was signed by the great leader Hidar Aliyev at the time of independence. Censorship was abolished in Azerbaijan by the decree of the national leader on 6 August 1998. The development of a free press, the strengthening of the material and technical base of the media, and the improvement of the socio-economic situation of journalists constitute one of the the main directions of the policy of President Ilham Aliyev. Journalism is one of the most influential spheres in Azerbaijan and plays a significant role in the development of our country. Happy holiday, dear colleagues. The second Shasha Global Media Forum on the topic exposing false narratives combating disinformation has concluded. The forum attended by over 150 guests from nearly 50 countries, including representatives of about 30 news agencies, three international organizations and 82 media structures, featured panel discussions on a number of topics, including the influence of artificial intelligence on reality, media and disinformation, promoting media literacy and climate movement and media were the subject of the panel sessions at the forum. Attenders including officials, representatives of the media and civil society government and business from around the world in international structures, as well as media experts who exchange ideas and experiences. Last week, the number of mines found in the territory as liberated from the occupation was disclosed. 67 anti-tank, 37 anti-personnel mines and 181 unexploded ordnance were neutralized. Approximately a territory of 1,674 hectares was cleared. The demining operations were carried out by ANAMA, the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Emergency Situations and the State Border Service. Su-25 fighter jets of the Air Forces were deployed in the training. The fighter jets performed training exercise flights. Su-25 ML and Su-25 fighter jets accomplished the tasks on the takeoff, landing and difficult pilotage combat maneuvers at the different altitudes in the daylight hours. The military pilots demonstrated high professionalism during the training flights aimed at improving combat skills. One thousand forty eight people applied to participate as candidates in the parliamentary elections. Chairman of the Central Election Commission, Mazahir Panahov, disclosed this during the interview. The candidacies of seven hundred nominees have already been approved. Candidates were given signature sheets. It was noted that the webcams installed at the polling stations will function until the end of all the processes. Through thousands of webcams, you can observe all the processes, from the beginning to the sending of the Election Commission protocols to the District Commission. The footages from these cameras are available for the entire world community. That is, from anywhere in the world, you can follow this on the SEC website. 
Mərkəz Seçik Komisiyasının interni sayfəsə girməklə. Məhkəmələr həmiş olduğu kimi bu seçik... As always, the courts are ready to fulfill their duties in this elections. A complaint can be filed in two forms, both administrative and judicial. You can file a complaint with the SEC about the decision of the District Election Commission, and you can complain about the decision, action, or inaction of the SEC to the Court of Appeals. In other words, if the complaint is not initially settled by the High Election Commission, then it will be possible to appeal to court. You can get in touch with us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts at 051-511-1956 through which you can report events you encounter as well as share your suggestions and comments. That was all for today. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.